Welcome back to the Coach Sue Show. And uh, Coach, before the break, we mentioned that the Seminoles made not one but two trips to the state of Ohio. I think you had planned the Akron game, and then we found out earlier this year that we'd be playing Ohio State in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. And not only for your players, but you have a lot of staff from the state of Ohio. You know, it, it's very interesting, and it all started when I started coaching Brooke Wyckoff here in my first year, and. You know, just the, the level of maturity that she brought to the game of basketball. Uh, I've loved coaching in the Midwest when I was at Wisconsin and Northern Illinois and the basketball IQ of the Midwest. But then the blend of Midwestern players with the athleticism and uh, the desire of players from the South has been a, a tremendous blend for us. So, yes, you know, you go down from an assistant coach in Brooke Wyckoff to Zach Stipe, our SID, Julie Kressel, our our trainer, I uh, look at all those folks from Ohio, Natasha Howard, Sierra Brevard, then you look at the close to it, Olivia Bresnahan, the state of Pennsylvania. And Coach, this is something that's not new for you. As long as I've worked with you, you've always tried to get, at least in maybe a junior or senior year, that a player would have an opportunity to play close to home, especially if they're from far away, so that their friends and family have an opportunity to see them play in a similar uniform. Well, absolutely. And that was the reason that we had scheduled Akron was because Sierra Brevard hadn't had much opportunity to play in front of her family. And then when the opportunity came up to play Ohio State, obviously we jumped at it, you know, I didn't mention the first go around. We've got two graduate assistants from Ohio. So, you know, more time to go up there and spend time in front of family and friends was tremendous. It was a homecoming in Ohio. Let's see how Natasha Howard and Sierra Brevard enjoyed the trips. The band Hawthorne Heights claims that Ohio is for lovers. But if you ask the Florida State women's basketball team, they tell you that Ohio is for basketball. Forward Sierra Brevard and forward Natasha Howard both grew up in Ohio. Moving from sleet and snowmen to sand and sunshine was quite a transition for both of them. There was no <laughs> avoiding the heat. It was, it was pretty bad, but after a while, I mean, you kind of, you get used to it. It was pretty good getting used to it, but the heat and the weather, like, it was kind of hot for me. During the fall semester, the girls got to go to Ohio to play against Ohio State. Even though they lost that game, it was special because it was essentially a home game. To have family, cousins, uh, high school basketball coaches, well, they came to come see me. It's cool that these girls all represent a state that is so far away. But actually, when it comes to the basketball team, it's a small world. You can tell the cultural difference between everybody. I mean, we've all grown up in different situations, you know, under different circumstances. So. But it hasn't been difficult for us to kind of like link up and get along. I think we've all been really welcoming to each other's differences and have learned a lot. Ohio isn't the only faraway place represented on the basketball team. Some players grew up in Georgia, some in Pennsylvania, and junior Leo Rodriguez comes all the way from Spain. Every day before practice, she teaches them a new word in Spanish. It draws them closer together because they're also different. And even though the girls recognize and respect each other's differences, they're much more focused on the one thing that they all have in common. We're all here for the same thing. We all have the same uh, final goal. So everything else is kind of out the window, out the door during season. Like we forget about where we come from. We forget about, you know, ourselves and how we are. And we just kind of focus on what, what our main goal is. And I think that's just really to win basketball games. It sounds like the girls should learn a new phrase in Spanish. Juntos vamos a ganar. Together we will win. For Seminole Sports Magazine, I'm Julia Truitt. You know, Coach, coming out of that Akron game, you had career highs for both Sierra Brevard and Natasha Howard in front of what was really a pro Florida State crowd in Akron. And, uh, you know, Natasha was able to build upon that game. She had a tremendous December. Well, she certainly has. You know, one of the things we've talked to her about is her ability to have a double-double every night. And, you know, she started it there, and she just... Well, she started even before that, but just really, I think, made a statement in that Akron game and really has become one of the best rebounders in the league. The last time I checked, she was the number one defensive rebounder in our conference. You challenged her to have that double-double each and every night. Is that something in the off-season that she worked on was not only to get in the gym, get some shots off, work on her rebounding, but also to get stronger? Well, absolutely. She spent a ton of time in the gym. She spent a ton of time in the weight room working on a real solid balance. You know, she was so thin and wiry coming in. She's still even coming into her own, but she plays so hard every possession. Uh, and great things are bound to happen when someone that talented plays that hard.
you know, Coach, when you look at it, it's not just the play, but also her confidence. She seems to be a much more vocal leader on your team. Well, she certainly is. I think she's so comfortable now. She's comfortable with her teammates. Oftentimes, she's the one that is making sure that, hey, this kid over here, you need, and she's the one that's really making that communication go from the back line. Well, it's certainly important, and when we come back on the Su Coach Sue Show, we'll take a look at another young player who's developing into one of the top rebounders on the Florida State team, Christy McCube. That and more as we continue on the Coach Sue Show. Seminole Sports Magazine is brought to you by AT&T. 